Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, I, I said it in the arena, uh, you cannot put a price tag on how important it is for me to be able to look at our team in a timeout where we just gave up a 10-0 run, gave up a 10-point lead. They went up, had a couple threes. They've got all the energy. It's the fourth quarter, right? There's five minutes left in the game. And I look across and five sets of eyes and the four sets of eyes behind them are all looking at me going, coach, tell us what we need to do right now. We're good. We got this. Let's go, right? And not, a, not, a, not a, even a little bit of self-doubt not even a little bit of, of worry, oh, I don't know if we're doing the right thing or making excuses about anything. Next play, what are we going to do? And we, want go, we go right back out of that timeout. We go 8-0. We, we make our plays uh, on both ends, and we win that game. And I, I, like I said, it, I've coached a lot of teams that don't necessarily do that. And it's a gift. Uh, it's what I'm thankful for right now on this Thanksgiving. And, uh, again, I'm really, really proud of this crew. Uh, Taylor, uh you know, it's clear watching you guys that your team that really fights hard. What, uh, what does a win like this do to kind of validate how hard you guys are working? Yeah, I think our team's been working really hard. I mean, in the preseason and these first couple of games of getting our connections right with each other. And we're all willing to push each other and fight for each other. So I think getting a win after working like that and putting our bodies on the line for each other really just brings us closer and want, wants, gets us to want more, win more. So I think it's good for us. Eric, uh, you know, you, you freshmen playing big minutes, and both of them hit big shots at times where you guys really needed it. What's it say kind of about the maturity level of, of those two that, that they can step up in these situations? So there's two sides to that question. One, their maturity level is excellent, right? They, they clearly believe in themselves, but it's not about them. They're, so you're talking about two freshmen that are currently are leading us in scoring, but it's never about my shot or I got to get this, right? It's about what can I do to help my team. And one of the things they need to do to help our team is score the basketball, right? But the other side of that is having a set of upperclassmen, and seniors in particular, uh, that have nurtured them and helped them. And it's never about jealousy. It's never about, oh, kid, you're not doing it right. Let me help you. Here, here, here's, here's something I can, that you can do better. And when you watch that dynamic, and then the freshman looks at him and says, okay, yeah, okay, I can do that. And then those, those are the bonds that Taylor's talking about and that you watch that in the locker room. You watch that in the dining hall. You watch that just when we're getting on the bus hey, this is the way we, we dress, or this is the way we go eat, or this is the way we say thank you to the waiter, or this is the way we pick up trash. Okay, yeah, I got that. And then that manifests itself on the court when it's time to say, no, 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 don't hand that thing off when the defense is coming through. Just rip that through, pivot, and I'll be there for you on the back door. Okay, great, I got that, right? And, and that's what I got to watch firsthand it, you know, on, the, on the basketball court was all those personal you know, relationships and connections that Taylor's talking about manifest themselves into basketball plays. And as a basketball coach, it's pretty fun. Uh, for both of you, both start with you, Taylor. For uh, a plan against a team like Houston that pressures the whole game, kind of similar to a couple of teams in the ACC, like a Syracuse, how valuable is it to have a game like this, you know, hold up pretty well against the pressure throughout the course of the game and just as in terms of preparation down the road for some of those conference games? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we hear it all the time. We have to play smart and handle pressure. So I guess having a trial run at that, it was good today, good to see like how we reacted to the pressure and how we got to work harder to get open and get the, still get the scores that we want to look for in our offense. So I think that was good and we handled it pretty well. We can just get better from here. Coach, it felt like the way that you ended, obviously the game as a whole, but the end of the first quarter, the end of the second quarter, Taylor, obviously you hit the shots. How important was that in finishing out the final minute of quarter so strong to help on the end result? Yeah, uh, you know, I thought we made big plays all game. The ends of, uh, of quarters um, are, are clearly big plays, right? Being able to go into, you know, playing for the last shot, having them be able to manage the clock. Um, you know, I, I think it was, you, you referenced Taylor's three at the end of the half, right? You know, things like that. They had just hit a three to cut the lead down a little bit, and then we go down, play for the last shot, knock it down. Um, you know, those are, those are maturity plays, you know, and, and Bill Rowell already referenced to just a little bit of poise. Those are plays we weren't making even just a couple weeks ago getting a little bit frazzled and, and Houston did a great job of pushing tempo and, and trying to frazzle us and we still made too many mistakes we turned the ball over um, but I tell you what Houston played really really well tonight like that was not a team that just you know missed a bunch of shots I mean they had kids that were making threes they've got incredible athletes who can spin and get to the rim and hit tough fadeaways there was a lot of times where I had nothing to do other than just clap my hands and say that's a great shot Taylor you played good defense I, I, that kid just played great offense Right? And for us to be able to win a game when a team's playing like that, because we can come down and match that and then continue to make it difficult for them on the defensive end. Um, you know, like I said, if you if you'd told me that we needed to score 79 points to win the game, 
the way our offense has been going and flowing recently, I would have said, boy, that's going to be tough. Um, but like I said, they hung in. It's just, hey, let's go make the next play, and we got it done. The moment was obviously when you answered their big 10 nothing run, but even Taylor, for you, it's hard not to compare the finish to the Fordham game versus the finish to this game. How did you think you guys grew from that game and finished this game so strong? Yeah, like I said earlier, like handling the pressure was a big thing for us. Making plays off of, off of them, like crazy up-tempo defense was a major key for us. We had to stay focused and locked in without just throwing it away and playing at their tempo. So I think that made a big difference tonight.